major rain event in late December helped put the cap on a very wet 2015 and led to GRDA's initiation of its emergency response plan to deal with heavy flows of water through the Grand River system. After heavy and steady rains fell in the watershed the weekend after Christmas, inflows and lake levels began to rise rapidly. In response, the United States Army Corps of Engineers began flood control operations by directing several floodgate openings at both Pensacola and Kerr Dams. Because the level of discharge from both dams eventually reached record levels at Kerr Dam and near record levels at Pensacola Dam, GRDA also initiated Condition C of its Emergency Action Plan, which included alerting all residents below the dams that rapidly rising water would cause some localized flooding. GRDA accomplished this with its automated call service as well as door-to-door -door contact with these residents and kept them updated as conditions changed over the course of several days. Throughout the flooding event, GRDA also initiated twice daily conference calls which included key GRDA personnel as well as the Corps, the Federal Energy Regulatory Commission, Mace County Emergency Management, the National Weather Service, Oklahoma Secretary of Energy and Environment Michael Teague, and the offices of Congressman Mark Wayne Mullen and Senators Jim Inhofe and James Lankford. On Tuesday, December 29th, nine main floodgates and nine east spillway gates were open at Pensacola Dam as it was releasing over 236,000 cubic feet per second of water through gates and generation. That is the largest discharge level of water from Grand Lake since the release of 388,000 cubic feet per second of water on May 20th, 1943. Downstream at Kerr Dam, the 241,530 cubic feet per second of water being released from Lake Hudson, also on December 29th, is considered a record. That was achieved with 10 open floodgates and full generation. The heavy rains and high levels of water discharge did lead to some localized flooding in some low-lying areas near the lakes and the closing of several roadways. Downstream from both Pensacola and Kerr Dams, GRDA police helped to evacuate Riverside residents who had been notified of rising waters as part of the GRDA Emergency Action Plan. Meanwhile, just as they had done during high water in the spring, GRDA hydro personnel monitored the dikes surrounding the town of Salina on round-the-clock shifts until the level of Hudson began to decrease. Slowly but steadily, the Corps began to direct gate closures as both inflows into the system and discharges from GRDA dams began to fall off with the rain's end. As things began to slow, GRDA hydro and police crews began the process of debris removal from the buoy line at Kerr Dam, where driftwood, loose dock foam, and even round hay bales had come to rest after being swept up in the waters. Other cleanup and repairs will take a little longer. The tail race areas below GRDA spillways, as well as the parking lots on both the north and south sides of Kerr Dam, did experience sudden erosion from the force of the heavy discharges. However, through the episode, GRDA's flood control facilities, including Pensacola Dam, Kerr Dam, and the Salina Dyke, did operate as designed to help GRDA meet its flood control mission for Oklahoma.